All right, so this this has been an interesting day today. Um, I just want to I just want to give some thoughts that I have so far right now. Um, watching the 49ers, the 49ers, and, and I'm not going to say that the Cowboys that we should be like, oh yeah, you know, we got it made um, going against the 49ers. The 49ers still could come back and win this game. Uh, they're only down 14 to six. Um, but seeing Brandon Ayuk, Brandon Ayuk. That's got to be an ACL. Um, the way his knee uh, went, it, that, that was brutal. And I don't wish injury on anybody. But Brandon Ayuk, which kind of surprised me, is when I was just reading that, he's only had one game this season of over 49 yards after getting paid. And, you know, literally they, they were killing him on Twitter before he got injured. Um, Debo Samuels has some kind of an illness. He'll probably be, of course, ready for the Cowboys. And we have Christian McCaffrey, whose wife said he's back in the pool. Flipper is back, um, and they think that he's going to be back, you know, probably early November. The Cowboys may be getting the San Francisco 49ers at about the best time possible. I mean, if they get a win, in, in, oh, in Brock Purdy, Brock Purdy does not look good right now. Brock Purdy, as they're saying on Twitter, looks like Jimmy G. Literally looks like Jimmy G. Um, it's like it's Cinderella and it's midnight and he can't find his glass slippers. Um, being that, that being said, we know the Cowboys gets everybody's best game and that's the killer. What hurts, guys, what hurts is seeing Dante Fowler, who used to be here with the Cowboys, on the you know on the commanders where we had a defensive coordinator that had us playing pretty good that got run out of town that when we didn't resign a Dante Fowler you see him with the pick six and you think you know we let go players and didn't replace them we didn't replace them and here's where you sit here and you wonder what's going on with our team because Watching Kansas City, Kansas City, and, and for everybody out there, I want to say that Pat Mahomes has thrown seven interceptions right now in six games. Or is it? I think he's, yeah. He's seven interceptions in six games, okay? And does not look like the Pat Mahomes that we always know, okay? But they have a team that's incredible around them. And they end up losing Pacheco. And they go ahead and they get Kareem Hunt, who was literally sitting on a couch three weeks ago. Three weeks ago. And he's playing above and beyond what we have on our roster. That's a fact. And here it is. Please answer me why we signed Dalvin Cook. Why we signed Dalvin Cook. And he's been on the practice squad for six weeks, uh, excuse me, seven weeks, he's on a bye week, and we haven't played him. Are you saying he can't learn the offense? Are we saying that he's not in shape? If he's not in shape now, he ain't going to be. And I'm just sitting here seeing things like, um, damn, for Buffalo, Amari Cooper making a touchdown catch. Amari Cooper, a guy that we gave away for a fifth-round pick, and literally, he got traded for a third-round pick, being plugged in and immediately paying dividends for Buffalo. And so as a Cowboy fan, you, you got to sit here and look and say, damn, what, what are we doing? What are we doing? Players that Derrick Henry, who's on an MVP tear right now, you could have had. And you look at this and say, right now? San Francisco looks like some ass. They could be three and four right now. Three and four. Three and four. You look at the Eagles, congratulations to the Eagles beating up on the Giants. And, you know, it, it's funny to me because the Eagle fans are now pounding their chest. Most complete victory of the season. We are hitting on all channels and stuff. But when we beat the Giants... They were like, oh, well, it's just the Giants. It's just the Giants, man. It's just the Giants. Really? Keep it even, guys. 
keep it even. And I will give you credit because Saquon Barkley, Saquon was probably the biggest off-season move that was made that worked out. You guys struck gold because without Saquon, your team sucks. Your team sucks. You, you got the win and all that. But here's what we got to look at. The Cowboys now have an opportunity to wake the F up, okay? In the NFL, a win is a win. And you're going to be playing a team that is feeling down, that is literally beat the hell up, and you're coming off of a bye week. This is literally Custard's last stand, okay? Custard's last stand. And oh, side note, you want to hear something interesting, people? You want to hear something? You want to hear some crazy shit here? Okay, history-wise, okay? Yeah, we're, we're, this is a bye week. It's a bye week, and it's halftime. So here's what's kind of crazy. This house right here, the Red Brick House, the last month of the Civil War, the Battle of Waynesboro happened, which only lasted for about a half an hour, okay? Jubal Early's Confederates held the town. Um, general Custer and, God, I can't remember the other Union general that his name escapes me at the moment. They chased the Confederates out of the town of Waynesboro, okay? But what's crazy is, if you go 150 yards this way, that's where the cannons were set up, okay? The Union artillery was literally right there. And they chased them literally across this area, right, right, right through the property. It's kind of crazy, I'm just saying. So, and, and Custer, so General Custer, who had his last stand against the Indians, was right here fighting in the Civil War. Be that as it may. I, I get back to your regular scheduled channel, uh, station. Um, Washington will definitely get the win today. Um, Carolina is awful. Andy Dalton getting that pick six to Dante Fowler was just about as ugly as it gets. The Cowboys, it was a bad day as far as chasing people because, you know, everybody that you want to lose that you're chasing um, won. But you have an opportunity that you can really make a statement and feel good about yourselves. Um, feel good about yourselves and get a victory and be on the plus side of winning. That game this week is huge. And I, I'm going to say that the Cowboys got a little bit of a break. And, you know, this game is only halfway through. And it, it, it's brutal. Appreciate that, Rhonda, that you guys enjoy listening to me. There's um, so much history that's happened. Actually, next Monday night, okay, I know this has got nothing to do with football and all that, but next Monday night, the city is actually going to honor me and Tracy at the city council meeting for saving the Red Brick House. So that's kind of cool. And um, I feel kind of cool about being part of the history here. All right, so Drew's in the house. Oh, figures. All the Eagle fans are here pumping their chest, swearing that they're the best team in the division and everything else. Congratulations, Giants. On, I mean, excuse me, Eagles on, on beating the Giants that literally could not... Uh, this is the Giants team here for you Eagle fans, okay? Here you go. 